Oh, what's happening, Cucumber Squad, and welcome to the Fable Sphere. Right, before we even get started, very quickly, go down to the pinned comment in this video and click on the link to go to my website, thefablesphere.com. It's super cool. You can go there, you can join the sphere. It's completely free. You can join the groups. We can chat about music. You can request music. You can request paid reactions if you want to, if you can afford to. It's all really cool, super fluid. Works on mobile, works on desktop. Go hit that link and take a look at the site. Right. Now, Rheinstein, man, Rheinstein. Now, this is a band I have never, ever reacted to. A few people have requested this, and this one in particular, apparently, it's pretty new. It's called Zig Zack. Um, and all that I know about Rheinstein is that there are, from what I've been told, is that there are a German band that does industrial rock um, and sort of heavy metal rock, if I'm not mistaken. That's what I've been told. I have never, ever, ever heard of them, ever. I have never listened to any of their music. I haven't heard any of their discography. Absolutely nothing. So we're going to take a look at it, look, look at uh, this band for the first time. And you guys will obviously have to help me in the comments and give me a little bit more info on the band. If uh, Let's just turn CCs on if this is in German. So um, let's rock and roll. Okay, wait a second. I, I, I've got to stop it there. Firstly, uh, firstly, the, the actual CCs are in German, so obviously I don't understand what they're saying, but we're going to pull up some lyrics shortly. Um, but before we even do that, I just want to actually talk about the... Firstly, the instrumentation is absolutely insane, but the concept of it, the concept of it, the glitz and glamour of show business, the glitz and glamour of Hollywood, I think is where he's going with this, in terms of like, because this looks like so, sort of over dramatic in terms of the Botox and those kind of things. But I think it's kind of a portrayal of show business in terms of how fake show business is. And it's all, even with that beginning part where he does like the magic trick, right? It's like focus on the illusion, focus on the show. Don't worry about, like, don't worry about us. All of this is just a facade. It's fake. You know what I mean? It's kind of, I think, where he's going. Uh, or where, where they're going, I don't know. But anyway, let's actually just pull up some lyrics quickly. Two seconds later. Alrighty, so I got some lyrics to um, the actual song. Okay, so I was, I, was, I, was, I, was, I was there, I was there. So basically on the, on the intro, it basically says more beautiful, bigger, harder, tighter, smoother, stronger, right? So obviously cosmetic surgery, Botox, facelifts, all those kind of thing. Verse one, your breasts are too small, two pounds of silicone is fine, cutting sacks from the eyes, milling the nose, sucking off fat, we quickly remove two ribs, tinker an inflatable boat out of your lips, into the cheeks, into the forehead, Botox into the brain. Oh shit, that's a really, really good line. That's a really, really good line. Botox into the brain. It's kind of like, it's kind of a, a, a metaphor for society today in terms of like everything about society today is just fake. Everything about the world is actually fake from our looks, from our activism, from our stock markets, from our social media to our uh, news media to all of that is kind of like all they're trying to push is like a fake narrative uh, the entire time. Whatever suits their agenda is what they're trying to put. So that Botox into the brain is a really, really, really cool line. And then they go into the the, the chorus, which I'm, I'm assuming is what Zig Zack means, is snip, 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 cutting it off, snip, 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 right? Cut off, cut off what you don't like, cut off what uh, uh, um, was given to you naturally, right? Because we, know, we need to sort of uh, um, um, fit into this fake world, essentially, right? I'm not beautiful enough as I am. I need to, 
I need to uh, um, sort of cut myself up and mold myself and almost re reshape myself into a society that it's perceived that this is, this is more beautiful. This is how I get noticed, right? And it all comes down to the Hollywood elites which do that and perpetuate this kind of mentality uh, in society. But let's just take this all the way back. <laughs> Instrumentation on this is fucking hard, you know. That actually is proper, proper fire, man. That electric, that electric guitar is insane. You can actually now start seeing the concept all being pieced together. Fire! Look at how they, they represented the pig over there, like you know, with the butcher. When you go to like a butcher shop, some butchers have like the actual animal and they show you the different cuts essentially. So they'll show you the whole pig and they show you like the 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 the, the dotted lines to show you the different cuts. So it's like a loin or it's a fillet or a this or a that or it's a chop or whatever else. And they had the pig there. Very cool that they represent them as pigs, like these elites, these Hollywood elites, these show business people, right? These is like all they all you doing is literally putting lipstick on a pig, right? And then they just get it marked out by um by uh, the medical industry because it's all about profits it's all about money regardless of how you look even though you look ridiculous like, if you, like you look absolutely insane you look pathetic you look ridiculous right but for some odd reason there's this like mass formation psychosis that's being developed to say that that's somehow beautiful and it's all being perpetuated by hollywood <laughs> temporary right so eventually that's that starts looking like shit again so let's go back to the butchers let's go back to the medical uh, guys and say yo fix this up lift this up again no no man keep doing that keep doing that perpetually forever right because uh we need to upkeep this this plastic image love it
absolutely love the theatrical drama, like the dramatization of this, like it's very dramatic, right? But it is exactly that. Like you need to over dramatize a concept like this to actually show how ludicrous and erroneous these things are and what society is doing and what society is creating. This fake world, this fake uh, uh, narrative, this fake agenda. Like I told you, everything in this world is completely fake. Right, and every single thing that we even uh, um, sort of stand by morals and all those kind of things and virtues and virtue signaling, all of that shit is just absolutely fake. It's just what puts me at the forefront so that I can get adulation from other people to just look at how amazing I am. Even the young generation are saying, Oh, you boomers, you destroyed the planet with your oil and your this and your that. Yeah, sure, yeah, no, we did, but uh, you're not fixing it, are you? Right? Because it's not, you know, fake tits aren't biodegradable, sweetheart. Know what I mean? And Bitcoin, which you absolutely love, is a huge, 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 huge uh, um, culprit of carbon emissions because, I mean, where did all that stuff get, where, where does it all get stored? Right? It's warehouses and warehouses and warehouses of uh, uh, data that needs, that needs energy from somewhere. Right? It's one of the biggest contributors to climate change is Bitcoin and your social media that you like to like and like and share and post, you know, all of your activism on it about the planet, all of that, right? The social media you love is a huge comp contributor to the damage of the planet in terms of CO2 emissions and things like that. That, that. So that's the thing. It's a fake world, right? It's what I can put out there. It's, it's all surface level is this is the mask I want to put out so I can get the adulation, so I can virtue signal. And this is... Um, I put myself in this ivory tower is essentially what's happening, essentially. And I like the actual concept of this. You've got to over-dramatize that because people don't think rationally anymore. People either think along party lines or they think along uh, um, uh, like single-minded uh, biases that, that you can't get the society out of anymore. Common sense has flown out the window, right? And all you left is the surface-level fakery. I love this hook though. I think this hook is so fire. This is definitely like something that I would go and watch live in like a sort of play, right? Because it is really, really cool. Super theatrical. Um, I, I, I love this. I think this is absolutely brilliant. <laughs> Oh, and the cat's eating that. Okay, that was absolutely awesome. Right, over-dramatized, comical spin on a very serious issue, comical spin um, on um, a lot of that we don't talk about, a lot that we, you know, we choose to sort of just put behind us and be like, 
vote, that's fine. We don't want to talk about that because, you know, maybe it's a self-esteem thing. Maybe they keep doing that because they're not happy. God forbid we say anything because, you know, they might be going through mental issues or God forbid we say anything because they have anxiety. Uh, and sometimes it's okay to say, hey, listen, you're fucking destroying your body and you don't have to, right? Just to keep up with the Joneses. You don't need to fucking do that, right? It's okay to just be you. It's okay to just age gracefully, right? And if you want to do this, unfortunately, if you want to keep doing that to try and keep up with the Joneses, to try and make it seem, you know, if, you know, your perceived beauty, right? Then it's all open to ridicule and you should take it. Anyway, I love you all, man. Please stay safe, please stay healthy. This was absolutely fantastic. First time ever listening, suggest whatever else you want me to react to them. I really, really, really like this. Love you all. Stay safe. I'll catch you next one. Peace.